Uh, my name is Thomas H. Johnson III, and that does imply the existence of a Thomas H. Johnson Sr. and a Thomas H. Johnson Jr. And Thomas H. Johnson Sr., he's a good Methodist minister, and his son, Thomas H. Johnson Jr., is also an elder of the United Methodist Church, and I, understanding the assignment and seeing what was laid before me, decided to go into the legal field. <laughs> and it was a good decision, as my father, Thomas H. Johnson Jr., has repeatedly told me. <laughs> now, when you're a Methodist minister, or you're the son of a Methodist minister, a uh, child, uh, you move around a lot. And so every time I would go and visit my grandparents, I would sit down with my grandma, or rather, she would be sitting on the porch, and she would say, Thomas, come and sit a spell. And to come and sit a spell meant to update my grandma on everything that had been happening, because I might not have seen her even since the last place that I lived, and so she needed to know everything that was happening, what was going on with my life, um, because there was a lot to update her on. Every time that I moved somewhere, as Julia uh, uh, alluded to, you become a new person, because there's a whole new set of people that expect different things from you. And so I would go and sit a spell with my grandma, and it always sort of felt uncomfortable. Uh, there was always some underlying uh, uh, tension that even as a child I could feel. Um, and God bless her soul, she's not with us anymore, I don't want to jump scare you with her death, that's not really the point of the story. <laughs> um, she loved me. She really did. Um, but like a lot of us, we had actual family, biological family, that loves us harshly, that loved us with conditions. And so, being an attractive young person who never had any uh, difficulty finding someone to date, I always uh, uh, met those conditions. I would go up to Grandma and say, yes, I'm dating this new girl, and except I would be like, yes, Grandmother, I'm dating this new girl. <laughs> and let her know all about Megan or Brianna, and I would get the nod of approval. Um, and I didn't realize why that made me uncomfortable until years later I met Lillian Hammontree and uh, she became the sibling that I never had because I am an only child and literally did not have siblings. Um, and she, uh, besides my parents, was one of the first people that didn't love harshly, didn't love with conditions. Um, and I was still sure that I was very strict because I had had many girlfriends and it was all fine. I, I liked them all. And I graduated high school and I graduated college and I went to the Peace Corps. And for the first time, I was outside of the South. For the first time, I was surrounded by a whole bunch of queer people that did not love harshly, that did not love with conditions. And in the Peace Corps, you're in very remote areas, uh, as I was, um, but luckily I had a site mate, somebody else who was in the Peace Corps just working in a different area. And I would go over to Kirsten's house, and I would uh, watch Peaky Blinders with her, and um, I don't know if y'all have seen Peaky Blinders, but Arthur, um, in season three, came out of the shower wearing just a towel, and I said, that's an attractive man, and Kirsten said, are you bi? And I said, huh? <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I guess definitionally, that's an attractive man. I can't deny that. Um, and Kirsten, not loving harshly, not loving with conditions, said, cool, I'll make sure to uh, uh, let every know, everybody know that you're bi so you can maybe get a boyfriend, <laughs> um, which was lovely. Kirsten's great, and so is Veronica, and so are, is Amy. These are people that I would spend Thanksgiving with, and still do. I'm gonna drive up to Lancaster, Pennsylvania this November to spend uh, uh, Thanksgiving with Amy and Veronica to see Kirsten. And when I'm up there with my wonderful wife, who, I don't know if y'all know this, polyamory's great, and uh, she is a great hype man for when I do have a boyfriend and when I do want to go on dates. Uh, it's lovely, and so when all of us are up there enjoying each other's company, it'll be lovely to sit a spell without harsh love, without conditions, with my found family. Thank y'all.